The Wayne State College Theater Department wrapped up the 55th children's show Wiley and the Harry Man this past March. With puppets, a unique set, and a fun atmosphere, the cast and crew created a spectacular show. But in order to make a show spectacular, we have to start at the beginning. I'm Abigail Ramold, and I'm auditioning for Wiley and the Harry Man. Auditions were held in late January. The director, Gwen Jensen, had students do activities to see what roles would best fit each person. Students who were minoring in theater also had to give a one-minute monologue for their audition. Carry a watch. What would you do if you saw a rabbit with a watch? And then a paralyzing spell that I broke. And not long after that, the cast of Wiley and the Harry Men was formed. They received their scripts and started rehearsals. And with only a few months to work, they got down to business. Many of the students also helped Professor Brian Begley create the set and lighting for the show. Class of seven people um, that are involved with the build and then a couple other classes that, that help a little bit too. Although the cast and crew had come a long way, they still had a lot of work to do before showtime. Costumes had to be made. The puppets had to be finished. And the stage had to be set. But this wasn't without its fun. And then we have to say, no, we can tie it to the... Finally, opening day had arrived. Knowing many children, fellow students, and community members would be watching them, the cast put on their costumes and makeup and prepared for the first show, and the many more to come. It was finally showtime. It started with a script, which led to auditions, which created a hardworking cast and crew that turned that script into a spectacular show called Wiley and the Harry Man. Hey,